to Living 808, and joining us now is Chef Sam Choi and John Veneri from In the Kitchen. Aloha, Hi. guys. Hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Good morning. Hi. Thanks for being here. Mm. But tell us, okay, your episode on Sunday, where'd you guys go? Tell us all about it. Well, Shane Dorian's house in Uncle Sam's hometown, although we were at a high elevation. Oh. Shane Dorian, by the way, pro surfer mm -hmm. and uh, hunter. And so we have, today we have some access deer. Yep. Oh, wow. Very, very good. It's, it's, so, it's just amazing, yeah. And the meat from the episode, did he actually catch that? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, he caught wow. it. Wow, okay. He, uh, he, he's a remarkable person. Great dad, great husband. Mm -hmm. Great family you and, know, they eat and healthy, surfer, they eat which is what healthy. leads to this. He's mm -hmm. not a vegetarian, but he, he's still a meat eater. But I mean, if you look at this meat, there's no fat right. at all. Yeah, yeah? Okay, yeah so? that's right. And okay, so exactly what type of meat is this? This is a strap, a okay. back strap of a nice axis deer. Wow. Okay, so it's really, really good. I just added some salt, pepper, and some garlic, okay. and olive oil. That's and to, all. And to prep, what we did was we chopped up some onion mm -hmm. and two types of parsley, both um, yeah. cilantro and Chinese parsley. Okay, so this is ready. Okay, so he typically eats then a lot of deer meat? Well, that, but you know, organically caught, okay. you know, grown. So yeah. how is this uh, re recipe different than the one that you made on Sunday? Well, we did have no chimichurri. All we did, uh, the sauce, mm -hmm. it's kind of like an Argentinian thing, you know, where they have their beef and they kind of pride themselves on a sauce like this mm -hmm. that goes right over the top, which we'll do. Ooh. Okay. We'll let it, you know, we'll brown it up real nice and we'll flip it out, cook it real good and let it rest and we'll slice it and lay it right up on our big platter there oh. and then we'll pour this right over it. Okay, so we got, we got this garlic, we got the onions, the two types of parsley. Yep. Okay. About how much are you putting in? About two tablespoons and a half. And two that's tablespoons a, and a half. Two tablespoons and a half of Not red too wine. Not sweet. Not, Not too rancid, but just Oh man, right. you know, that guy was amazing, right? Little hot peppers, just a little bit. You like it hot? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Wait. We, you Most asked her, but you didn't ask me. That's okay. Do you like it hot, John? No, not particularly, <laughs> but I'll try Take it. Take a couple out of there. Okay, you're good. Some oregano? Fresh mm. is better, but this will work. Smells Ooh, amazing. Looking good, looking good. Okay, and Chef, how do we know? Because I have never cooked beer before. How do you know when it's ready, when to flip it? Oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> is it similar to steak or is it? No, you want you want to go like medium rare, medium. Okay. Cause like everything else, the longer you go. How much are you putting of that? How about maybe half a cup, three fourths cup. Okay. That's it. And then I'm gonna have Kelly. Mm -hmm. Kelly, can you just? Can do. You like that spoon, right? Yes. Okay. So everything that was in this, the onion. I think we better garlic. switch. You come to say I don't want you to get burned. Switch, yeah. Hi there, Kelly. Hello. And then how much of the red pepper did you put in? I guess it kind of depends on how hot you like it. Right. Okay. You just sprinkle the onion. Oh, baby, look at this. And then you almost put enough olive oil in it to cover all of the yeah. veggies that are in there. Half a cup, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Now, when you when you when you stir in it, can you mash it in like you want the oils from the onions to come out? Okay. They use the back of the spoon. And almost like almost like the side. Okay. Almost like when they're doing Benny Denny, you know that uh, very tomorrow onions and salt and lime and the soy sauce. Mm -hmm. You're doing a great job, yeah. Kelly. Actually, John, Thanks. you can find our aloha shoyu, which is right there. Yes. Can you get it? We're gonna add a little bit of that in our. Okay. How about, oh, about how much you want of that? About a tablespoon. Oh, this is so good. I just tasted it. Here. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> no, I can't wait. Hey, get to your sides that, down. Though. Get your sides down. You always tell me that when we're cooking things in a pan, but I guess it's relevant now as well, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I want uh, you guys to taste that. You know, you want to taste it, John? Mmm. Oh, that over meat is going to be amazing. Oh, that is good. Very it's kind of refreshing. I'm yeah. glad I didn't get a pepper else I'd be in trouble right now. <laughs> oh. I got a little bit of that one, That is so but good. Perfect. All right, here, Cal. Let's plate it. Let's okay, yeah, it. let's plate this up. Perfect. Let's teach Kelly how to cut it. Okay. I don't know, though, if he'll trust me. Do you trust me with the cut? I trust you. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do... Oh, oh, that looks almost perfect. Actually, it is. Okay, it's like a, like a little sashimi. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is... Actually, I did get a pepper, I think. 
<coughs> I did. It's on the left side of my mouth. I feel it. But it's, it's good. It's tasty. Uh, John, right down the middle? Right Beautiful. down the middle. That's not really right down the middle, though. Wee, 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 wee. Look at that. That looks perfect. It smells really good. Oh, man. And we already know what the uh, the drizzle tastes like with all the parsley mm -hmm. and onions and garlic. It's so good. That's so delicious. Okay, and you guys, if you want any of these mm -hmm. recipes, especially this one, head on over to kh12.com. And if you miss this episode or if you want to watch the next ones, again, right, In know. the Kitchen airs Sundays right here on KHON at 630. And you guys, if you go online, you could also have the potential to sign up to have Sam Chef or Chef Sam Choi and John Veneri knock on your your door. So stay mm -hmm. tuned. See if you can be a part of that. We'd love to come to your kitchen. You guys need so much more coming up here on Living 808 after the break, so stay with us.